Okay, hi everyone. Um, today I'm going to show you about the VPN remote access on the Cisco ASA and using uh, for the VPN client uh, Cisco and Ethernet. Okay, for the last video, um, so you already about the VPN remote access on the Cisco ASA, but uh, we install VPN client uh, Cisco VPN client for remote uh, VPN client. Okay, for in this video, we replace the old version of the Cisco VPN client to the Cisco AnyConnect. Okay, Cisco AnyConnect is a new version of the Cisco VPN client that we have to uh, remote to the VPN server. Okay. Okay, and then we go to the GNS3. I'm going to show you about the topology and the lab also. Okay, this is the lab that we have to configure VPN remote access on the Cisco ASA and we using the Cisco Any Connect. Okay, so we have to the install Cisco Any Connect on the side home side. Okay, for remote to the VPN server, you can manage all the device uh, in the office side. Okay, when you make the connection with an uh, client. Okay. Okay, this is, this is the step that we have to configure with animal access. Okay, the first step we have to enable VPN, create the user, create the VPN IP pool, and create the actual list, group policy, group tunnel group. Okay, and enable login drop down. Okay, before you start the first step you have to upload the file the Cisco and connect to the uh, Cisco ASA first okay okay and then we go to the start to uh, configure okay okay the first uh, we, we upload the file the Cisco and connect to the Cisco ASA okay and then I'm open the window SP plan one at the office side okay okay this is a window HP Client born at the office uh, PC. This is the office PC at the office side. Okay, the first um open the TLTPD for the uh, upload the file uh, Cisco and connect to the Cisco SA first. Okay, I'm browse to the my IP address. Okay, I'm browse to the uh, part that we upload to the file. Okay, I'm stored in the ASDM. Okay, ASDM. Okay, this is a file that uh, I'm copy file. You can for the file you can download from the internet. Okay, for the Cisco and Ethernet we have uh, a lot of the version, so you can download for the window and uh, Mac Linux that you want to. Download okay for me. I'm download for the window okay for the testing okay. I'm um, and then I'm, I'm download already for this file and I'm copy this file into the this folder okay ASDM okay and then I'm browse uh, TIPD to the this uh, folder okay and then I'm upload this file to the Cisco ASA okay for using the command line. Okay, the first I'm um, go to the Cisco ASA. Okay, this is Cisco ASA. I'm already to open. Okay. Okay, before you configure or upload the file, you have to make sure the Cisco ASA can access to the internet. Okay, for me, I'm configure already for the internet access uh, to the uh, from the Cisco ASA to the internet already. Okay, I'm just sticking to the DNS. Working and my the PC at the uh, office and also set to the internet also. Okay, somehow I just go. Okay, so I'm um, I can set the internet already. Okay, and then I'm uh, go to the our configuration for the upload. Uh, Cisco any can it file dot uh, pkg to the Cisco ASA and then I might I type command copy ktpd okay plus okay for this one I'm type the IP address from my PC okay 
Okay, so far. So far, you find uh, the, the name of the farm. Okay, Cisco. Okay, niche connect. PKP. Okay. Okay, if you upload. Okay, when you upload, you, you see this one. Okay, the file is processing. Okay, so you can wait the file is processing to up to upload. Okay, upload uh, successfully. Okay, and then we can close this one. Okay, after uh, we upload, you have to know uh, we upload successfully or not. You can type the command show plus. Okay, command show plus. You can see the file that you upload. Okay, Cisco and Ignite. Okay, so we we see we saw the uh, Cisco and Ignite file dot uh, pkg in the Cisco ASA already. So we upload uh, successfully. Okay, and then after we upload the file the Cisco and we connect already, we go to our step. Okay, the first step we end about the web ribbon. Okay. Okay, and then I'm open the configuration. Okay, this is a configuration that I'm prepared already for the uh, ribbon remote access on the Cisco ASA. 
Okay. Okay, you just uh, follow my configuration. Okay. Okay, the first step we have to enable web VPN. Okay, I'm go to the Cisco ASA and I'm type follow my configuration. Okay. Okay, I'm um, um, about outside of the so you can recommend any connect. Let me upload. Okay, Cisco any connect dot pkg. Cisco any connect dot pkg. Okay, and then we enable uh, an internet. Okay. okay, and then I see. Okay, the, uh, the first step as you can, we create the user. Okay, username. Okay, I'm type. I'm create the username admin and password admin also. Okay, privilege. Okay, and then user. Okay, and then our step, next step, okay, we create the IP pool or the uh, pool, okay, okay, VPN pool, this is the IP that we create, okay, when we connected the VPN plan, this IP assigned to the VPN plan, okay, for the VPN pool that we create on the VPN server. When uh, we connected the uh, Cisco and Ethernet VPN client to the VPN client to the VPN uh, server, when uh, VPN connected the IP, uh, this IP address will be assigned to the VPN client. Okay. Okay. So we create the uh, VPN pool IP pool. Okay. Pool. Type VPN pool. Okay. This is the uh, IP. That we assign to the VPN plan, you can put any the IP that you want to put. Okay, okay, so must shut the 